topped by a pair of supplemental entries, doubly clear and tiltillating. While tiltillating's owner, Gene Klein, the former owner of the NFL's San Diego Chargers, had no trouble with the $10,000 supplemental fee, doubly clear's Judy Bajinski agonized all week before deciding to enter her $1,500 gelding. There are. From the outside, that's Felder on the key, racing for the lead with Tiltalating now moving up. Doubly clear is third. Matthew T. Parker races fourth. Ziggy's boy fifth, earning power along the rail sixth. Do it again, Dan is seventh with Sir Concord eighth. Quite a man is ninth and top of the max far back. Down the back stretch, Felder on the key has a two length lead with Tiltalating second. Doubly clear on the outside of third. Ziggy's boy now speeds up fourth, earning power is fifth. Matthew T. Parker now moves up fifth with do it again, Dan sixth. As earning power drops back seventh. They round the turn on the outside. Tiltalating now drives up to engage Felder on the key for the lead with doubly clear coming on third. Do it again, Dan is fourth. Along the rail, Ziggy's boy is fifth. They turn for home with Tiltalating getting the lead on the outside. A doubly clear now coming on a second with Along the rail, Felder on the key, third. In the race to the wire, it's totalating on the inside, doubly clear on the outside, it's doubly clear on the outside, now getting the lead. Doubly clear, ridden by Joe Garcia, overtakes Tiltalating near the 16th pole to bring his owner a $120,000 bonanza. Budge Nicky, who purchased the gelding as a prospective show jumper, now has won $211,000 with him. Doubly clear is the first stakes winner of his sire, two a day, a son of bold bidder, now standing in New Mexico.